into match four. We can go first. We have a Chikan for a companion in DB do. Okay, we have a wish. Okay, we can keep this. So again we get double hollowed fountain. So we'll lead with windswept and we'll make our assumption uh, not our assumption, sorry, our assessment based on what they do. Okay, white black. Interesting, interesting. I have no idea what this could be. So we just need green off this. We have white and blue. So this is probably no wait, hold on, which one? We wouldn't have black if we don't get this, so we need to get this one right. And we won't have red. But that's fine for now. So we'll get the injury try on. Play this untapped with glittering wish. Mm -hmm. Don't have red, so we can't take any of these cards. I think we take Unmoored Ego and we wait till he reveals something about his deck. Me, I'm just eating an Easter egg. Okay, Esper could be Esper Reanimator, could be Esper. Well, let's uh, let's go for it. Let's see what he is. I'm assuming this gets counted. Okay, so let's assume uh hold on. How do you spell this? How do you spell Teferi? I should really practice this for this one. Which one is the Teferi um, War of Spark? Oh, come on, come on. Time Raveler. Boom. Yeah, see, this was a fair assumption. If he was um, Reanimator, then we can. Okay, Grief, Prismatic Ending, Faithful Mending, Archons of Cruelty... <sighs> right, this is Esper Reanimator, so... He's gonna Faithful Mending and then persist it next turn. That's fine. Right, I will discard a vanishing verse this has turn. things to go our way right now. 
Yeah, another rock on a cruelty coming. Another persist. Just got another red card that we can't cast. We get a pillar of the Peruns, it's pretty good. Then we will vanishing verse this again. Oh my, oh my god, did he get a third persist? You gotta be freaking kidding me. This is ridiculous. <laughs> you, you can't be serious. Wow. Well, when the magic gods want to give it to a player. Wow, that was literally the epitome of, yeah, this guy gets everything you would ever want and you don't get to play. All right, uh, he's gonna bring counter magic, so we have to bring in our counter magic. We have to bring in graveyard exile. We have to bring in, I believe that's it for now. We'll probably go down. We don't want to mulligan here. Scorn, I don't think does anything too good here. Dreadbore, uh, Witherbloom. Probably take out the Witherbloom commands because the odds, he's going to want us to mill him and we're not going to want to mill ourselves. So we should then bring in an Abrupt Decay and a Notion Thief. Alright, we'll see how this goes now. Yeah, so that one was unfortunate. We had two answers to reanimate her Frex, uh, but the Magic Gods decided he was going to draw in his top four goes every effect that could potentially... Well, we can't keep this because we don't have blue. We can keep this, I guess. Put you away. Done. We will play... A temp. The reason we're playing this is if we draw a relative green source, we want to drop the Carvu before. Problem is, he will probably grief us here, and we will then not be able to use anything we've been given. I know, just a standard four seeds. He'll take the veto, which is fine. Right, let's play Carvu. Get this solituded, then we'll get grief, then he'll get reanimated. Does he not know the effect of the R? Uh, oh, he does not know the effect of Territorial Carver. Cool. I will exile up to one card from a graveyard and get rid of your Archon of Cruelty. Yeah, he did not read the card. It incidentally is also one of the craziest reasons about um, some of these effects where you're just like, wait, why does this have a thing. To fairy to prevent us from playing interaction. Yep. Bouncing the car view. Mm-hmm. I love it when you can just read decks. So Go back to combat, let's attack to fairy because we need to hold this up. We need red and we need green here to play this. Create a 4-4 four, four from this. Pass the turn. Uh, 
Unlock Grave. Here comes an Archon of Cruelty. Yep. There's a Persist. Sacrifice a Golem. Discard a land. Sideboard. Yes, this actually works. Okay. Green, white, glittering wish. Grab a 4 4. Yes. Grab Tyrant Scorn. Return this to your hand. An attack. Now we then have to exile the Fateful Mending so that he can't use the flashback on it. And that hits him for. Alright, so even if he Archons here, he's dead. Could flash in a solitude here and mess with us. So let's use this. Then let's use this to see if he has a response. Black, red, green. Alright, uh, yep. He concedes. Reload! Alright, he misplayed there. We got lucky because he didn't know the at the bottom of all of this is exile a card from a graveyard. Tyrant Scorn being in the sideboard there actually saved us. I need to really work on this wishboard. Um, you really don't do anything. Do we just bring in a... No, we don't go higher on the mana curve, we go lower. So let's just add another helix. Although returning a creature is good, I don't know. So yes, I have had a long and uh, salty day of playing the two Cascade decks, but I will point out that we have not been completely unprepared. As I said, we did take games from them, but it also was partially down to bad deck building on my behalf. I can't go lower than this. I think I have to get rid of one of the Brink to Lights and pass. They kept a seven, so I'm assuming we're getting four seized and probably griefed, so we might lose like our entire hand here. Well, good news, if we um, find some spells, we'll be able to cast them. Probably did not. Yeah, they probably didn't have a response to the um, general. That's why they probably thought that uh, it was safe to play. Uh, we got to fairy coming down now to lock us out of playing this speed interaction. Yep. Biggest mistake planeswalker ever. I genuinely think more than Oko. Yes, that's a controversial statement, but I think the ability to literally shut off an entire facet and the thing that actually makes magic interesting is legitimately more of a problem than... Uh... is legitimately more of a problem than something that just turns threats into free freeze. And I know Oko did a lot more... Right, let's play this. 
We have to do this now at sorcery speed because, you know, reasons. Right, he's gonna go for the reanimation now. He bought him pushes to deal with the carvers. <laughs> oh, that's mad respect for the carver. Do I just cast a Niv here and get it countered? What did he run in his... You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm run this Niv into a counter. White, blue, black. Reload! Oh, didn't get countered. Total your car who is a charm. Bring to light, that'll do. I would have really liked to see a. Uh... Go ahead, take the car who would just make my day to watch someone. Yes! <laughs> oh, my. Oh, well, we hit a Valky off the top. As you do. Because, you know. That's reasons. Let's go to combat and swing for six. Alright, opponent concedes to that. Yeah, they got a bad hand there. Uh, they went overboard with trying to kill the Carvus. Uh, fortunately, we had other attempts. Hey, there's Clophis and there's Dreadboard. Would come down. Alright, we'll move on to our final game of the league.